Hi everybody, here's Christian from Timorcast. And I'm Constantine Kelfasil. And this is Netrun Timorcast. These are the Dutch Nationals 2015. This is the first game from the top eight. What is it, eight? Uh, yeah, top eight, top eight. Top eight, all right. So on the left we have Agenda from Germany. On the right <laughs> we have... You, how do you say his name? I oh, I, I really don't know. Agenda? I, agenda, I guess. Agenda. Uh, uh, it's, it's a plural <laughs> of agenda, I guess. And yeah. on, the, on the right we have Quinton from Belgium. Yep. Yeah. Well, Quinton, I think, went like all the way to the top eight with like one loss or something. Yeah, he was on the top table very frequently. Yeah. Uh, if you join us on our Patreon campaign, uh, on our Patreon channel under patreon.com slash hack the planet, you can watch all of the recordings from the Swiss rounds and you will see Quinton a lot on those on the top table there. Um, it's like one of those moments when you can like scream, yeah, I'm involved. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, and so, yeah, so Quinton is uh, playing something exciting here. Yes, harpsichord. We had quite a lot of uh, harpsichord players uh, that day, actually. We did? Yeah, there were uh, quite a few people that tried to make it work, like, not butcher shop like but mm. uh, the way that you play with Explodapalooza, but mm. the world is yours kind of style, like fast advance, but with more protection where you can just put down stuff and they cannot run everything, so you're bound to score something good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we don't know what it is. There's some of several builds, but at this point, this is a new idea. Of course, when this is released, probably Data and Destiny is out already. It's not out when we're recording this. Uh, just um, I think Hollywood, uh, old Hollywood, just came out. Yeah. Uh, so this is kind of like an experimental deck, maybe. And the game already begins. Agenda is playing, of course, uh, the noise, and Quinton begins with a hedge fund, and just wow. getting credits and nothing else. Oh wait a minute, it's hedge fund and uh, sweeps week. Did he draw a card? I think he drew a card. He drew a card, yeah. Mandatory draw, draw a card, hedge fund sweeps week. Nothing else. Just come at me, bro. Full come at me, bro <laughs> mode. Which, as as agenda, it's kind of, I would say, like, either he is agenda flooded or he is, like, completely, uh, you know, butcher shop. But he didn't take a mulligan, right? I don't know. I We will display it eventually, but I haven't made, made any notes. So I don't know myself. We see a sure gamble here. And uh, immediately pancakes and white oh my combo out. That's a pretty good opening. That's a pretty sweet, I have to say. Yeah. And I mean, with Harpsichord, if you're a Jenna flooded, do you maybe want to keep that anyway? Uh, keep all the Jenna's? Yeah, I, it doesn't matter with, with, with Harpsichord, it's right? not a terrible idea, right? Yeah. It's, 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 it's kind of like a weird identity in this regard. Let's see about that. So we see the Jack and Howard and just keeps on drawing all those cards. Yeah, well, maybe he is a Jenna flooded. Maybe he's just looking for... Uh, things that he expected to see after his mandatory draw maybe or maybe he just really wants to like get all those agendas that he has on his hand maybe he wants to draw into his agendas and dump them into archives <laughs> where are all my explodable losers i need them in my hand yeah i mean <laughs> just dump them in archives i mean because it's noise noise would eventually want to check archives you know yeah and then it's going to be like the surprise <laughs> I'm getting all the money. You get all the you get all the tags. Uh, everything is coming up. You know, everything is just awesome. It would be funny if it's uh, too good to be true, and then you see Quinton just court. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what? <laughs> um, all right. So, so yeah. Mm, agenda he ran the action, but it seems but, like Quinton but doesn't really care no if he trash. trashes it. And agenda is really like low on money, so so it's like, do you want to spend all of your money to trash the Jackson? Yeah, because if you think about it, you just find another one and. You don't really care. I mean, you're gonna find another one anyway. Yeah, he yeah. spent three credits for he that, and right does now, and gets a credit. Yeah, because right now, Agenda has a good draw, but doesn't have the money. So, <laughs> so Agenda is really in a precarious situation because he has no ways of making money. Uh, he needs kind of like this cash recursion thing going on. And there oh, we have the second. Oh man, Jackson. there we go. <laughs> uh, so he needs sort of his cash recursion thing to get up the kind of money to compete with Quinton, and Quinton is like, "All right, sweep sweep, <laughs> getting more money. I'm rich." I'm scared. Why, yeah. why does he need all that money? And, and we see, even though uh, Quinton is using those really nice Go tokens here, putting Ori credits on the ID is again a very, very bad idea and you should <laughs> never do it. I met so many people when I played Netrunner in Greece that yeah. they said, oh, you're just like Christian, you don't want the money on your ID. I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> is Christian like a weird guy? <laughs> I, I, this is weird, right? I also went to, to New York recently and somebody like told me in my face, like, I'm going to actually put my stuff on ID and there's nothing you can do about it. I'm like, oh, you can continue doing this, but you don't know how to play this game. 
<laughs> Anyways, back to the game. We see a, a daily cast being installed by Agenda. That's something that she really needs at this point. And finally, we have two eyes in front of R&D and HQ for Quinton. A daily cast is a good way to go for the long game here against mm -hmm. Harpsgord because he doesn't really need to have that much money all the time. Um, and with two parasites yeah. in hand, he can just face tick and just check things out. Yeah, I mean, he, he has the the time is, at the moment. If Quinton has like a kill combo on his hand, then he won't res anything, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right, so we see uh, the data sucker being installed, uh, milling one card uh, with the ability of noise. Uh, that is really great. Quinton keeps drawing cards with a mandatory draw first, and then he can still continue drawing with a Jackson. Will he do that? He has so much money. It looks like he has what he needs. Yeah, he has like uh, t t 22 credits. Yeah, it keeps drawing a Jackson. Yeah, it keeps drawing. Like, what could he need? I see a Sansa in his hand. Yeah, what is his plan? That's that's the idea. That's that's where it comes down to it. Like, what is your goal? I'm thinking something like in the in the sense of oh, Explorer, Palooza, Cyberdex. So it looks like a fast advance. But I would think that he might be playing mid-season psychographics as well. Oh, another install here. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. And then installing something. No, he's, he has to trash him. All right, I'll trash him something. All right, so <laughs> the agenda draws the pancakes, wild side combo, drawing two cards at the beginning of his turn, not losing a click because of the pancakes. I mean, we were talking about the run last click guys, or was it run last click or Neurotronus? I think both of the, those guys. We really need a cheesecake card in Netrunner. A cheesecake card. <laughs> yes. We have pancakes, that's nice, but we really need those cheesecakes, man. Yeah. <laughs> FFG, get on the cheesecake game. You, you, they need to make like a bunch of like food cards, yeah. burgers, fries. Yeah. I mean, you know. it's, it's really just <laughs> cheesecake. Like, let's get the ball ro rolling with cheesecake and let's, let's see about that. Because I've been to New York recently and I ate real New York style cheesecake and my life has changed. I thought I knew about cheesecake. Clearly, I know, knew nothing about cheesecake. I was the Jon Snow of cheesecake. Okay. This was amazing. <laughs> And everybody should eat the New York style cheesecake. Anyway, we see the, uh, the cash being installed, milling another thing, and getting. Uh, I love how the conversation just derailed. Well, when you started talking about cheesecake, that's what cheesecake does. <laughs> that's generally the superpower of cheesecake. Uh, and then we see a clot installed. That's oh, really great because yeah, this is really good, really good uh, against what Quinton might be able to want to do as an NBN fast advancing stuff. I don't think Quinton cares because <laughs> oh, I see a Caesar's in hand. Yes. <clears throat> Caesar's, I don't think Quinton oh. really cares because he does have a cyber decks in hand. So if he really wants to fast advance, he can just purge. And oh, I yes, don't see a clone tip on uh, Agenda's side yet. You saw it on hand, oh man. Yeah. Well, you know, but it's it's it it's, will slow him down a little bit, and of course maybe uh, uh, Agenda will get out the clone tip. So you know, Agenda. Agenda. <laughs> I mean, I don't see Quinton creating like a um, taxing scoring server yet with just two eyes out and being so slow with the ice installs. Second uh, data sucker out. And running on the archives, but not accessing, instead using the Hades shard. It's still a ramp, though, so we might see the Caesars mm, now. That's, that's the problem, though, yeah. It, even if there's some bad traps in those in these archives, and they haven't fired because the access was replaced with the uh, Hades oh. shard. There we go. We still have the Caesars going on, and Quinton yep. is uh, clearly in the lead. There's really nothing that Agenda can do about this single tag here. <laughs> So that was a bit of a mistake, perhaps? We don't know. He was, I guess, the problem is like when you have data suckers out, you want to be running, right? Yeah, but the thing is, <clears throat> he couldn't really know if he played a, a trace deck. Quite often, this is like this test. All right, so oh, this is man. the first Scorch. <laughs> now, Edge deck triggers the Hater Shard to access the archives. But this is, of course, uh, this is, of course, Hubsicord. So there's, yeah, there's lots of agendas <laughs> in here. <laughs> and uh, and uh, Quinton even gets like five credits from the from the um, uh, Palooza, but there's just, you know, two points that Agenda can get at this point. Oh my god, look and at Quinton's hand. What was that? <laughs> there were two mid-seasons and a day raven. <laughs> oh, bam! All the, all the uh, tech It's like, what's he gonna do? <laughs> it's, it's like a very vicious deck here, and yeah, clearly uh, Agenda wasn't prepared for the viciousness of the, this harpsichord. Madness. I mean, you can't really know what to expect out of harp out of a harpsichord, right? Yeah, the the the, the how do you say um, uh, archetypes have have not been established at at this point. And the ice down there was um, 
a pop-up window in a data raven. Yeah, that's all you need, I guess. Damn, yeah, that's all you need. Mm -hmm. All right, so this was this first game uh, from uh, those um, from those nationals. Uh, kind of like very star uh, fast start and very unusual c uh, combination here. Yeah. Well, it was a good deck, man. Do you want me to tell about Nedrunner to the yeah. nail, maybe? Uh, well, you can do that <laughs> as well, yeah. Well, netrunner.nl is uh, the website, uh, which is the uh, home to the Dots Netrunner community. Yeah. And you can visit it to find all of our events through an event calendar, various article posts about uh, with <laughs> reports and all kinds of other wacky things. And yeah, I mean, you can visit it and find out for yourself. So make sure to drop by. But I think more important than Netrunner is another website of yours. Yes, Eurogrid.net is uh, the European... Yes. Uh, Netrunner community website where we have a calendar for all the huge events in Europe, mm. be it nationals or another big event like the upcoming Eurydio. Uh I don't know if it will this video be out like before the Eurydio? Oh, whatever. I don't anyway, know. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, you can visit it and find like all kinds of uh, cool stuff like uh, how to run a tournament, uh, find like fun art from European artists, find uh, the European champions of various national tournaments. I mean, just visit it and you'll see like all the cool stuff that is Yeah. On. I mean, I this especially this season, I was really like um, was looking for a place for all the you know European tournaments to show up so I can like you Man, plan you my trips. Imagine, you can't imagine how many people were messaging me all the time. Oh, do you know when the next national tournament is yeah, and where yeah. it is? And I was like, oh, we, we really do need something like that. Yeah. So this is finally, and it has finally <laughs> happened. Of course, now it's not as useful because this tournament season is over. Yeah. But uh, as soon as the new store championship comes up in the beginning of 2016 this will be the place to go and check out all the things it was and plan a good time to start it mm. uh, to actually test it as well and yeah. we are testing the registration function as well with the with the upcoming Eurydia and it's working really well yes. so we're, re we're really loving it yes and I am really loving it and I hope you guys will really love it so eurogrid.net is, is the address right yep all right so check it out and we will be back in the next game <laughs> Uh, when we will always, as always, hack the planet! 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 Shut up and get in the car! Shit on me. This episode of Netrunner Timor Cast was created with a generous support from our listeners. If you enjoy the show and you can't get enough Netrunner videos, please check out our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash hack the planet.